Rated M for Mature. One day, Frank asked me to stop by the bar. He said he had a little job for me, so of course I showed up. Tom, we got two trucks full of the best liquor coming in from Canada. Sam's gone out to the handoff point to meet him. They're on an old farm outside of town, and we need to get the shipment to the city. I'm sending two trucks out. Paulie's going with one of them. I want you to go with them and keep an eye over everything. Just to make sure it all goes smoothly. Get a call from Ralphie and join up with Paulie over at a warehouse. Paulie will give you some weapons when you get there. Okay, Frank. So what have you got for me today, Ralphie? Hey, t t t t Tom. I have he here a new machine for you. It has 65 horsepower, and if you put your foot down, it'll go over 75 miles per hour. Put a new lock on it, but it ain't no problem. Hey, watch. See? It's 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 real easy. You can take this car or something older, whatever you want. Thanks, Ralphie. Hey, Tommy, we're going to a farm outside of town to pick up a couple of truckloads of good booze. We want you with us in case of any trouble, but it should be real easy. You don't really have to do nothing. Just be there. The boys will load up the trucks and we'll come back. Sam's already there waiting for us, so probably be drinking more shit before we even get there. I'll do the driving. Cops have been paid off, so there's nothing to worry about. Looks like I could've just stayed home and slept. Hey, if I gotta be up, you gotta be up. <laughs> Let's go. It's the life. Police, countryside, stress. You know, we ought to do this more often. Better in the daytime. <laughs> I think you'd rather be with Luigi's little girl. Sarah, right? That's your night shift. <laughs> Lay off. What do you know about it? Same way as everybody else knows. Heck, even Luigi knows you're chasing her. I figure you ain't too bothered. 
saved the virginity after all. <laughs> but I bet you stole the right back, huh? Shut up, Paulie. I didn't know you were there. Nah, come on, Tom. I'm kidding. She's a good girl. You're good for each other. I ain't so sure. Uh, somehow I can't imagine coming home and saying, Guess what, Sarah? Had a hell of a day at work today. I had to kill ten people. You can't talk about stuff like that at home. If you don't act like the way they describe you in the papers, and you're good to her, just ignore all that crap. Hey, <laughs> she's loaded. So it seems normal to you to hide who you really are from your own wife your whole life. Don't worry so much. Damn it! What's going on? Sam should be waiting here, but he isn't. Smells fishy. Look, we'll wait here with the trucks. You go quietly, check out what's going on. Thanks for the confidence. Here's some toys to take with you. Jesus! Hey, your friend, he's fallen sick. Who are you? Are you from the police? Yeah, Mr. Morello and the sheriff would like to send their regards and inform you that from this point on, they'll be taking over your duties here. <laughs>
They're all dead! What? The truck crew. Out there in the back. They wasted them. What? What about Sam? Did you see him? No, I didn't see him. But the barn was locked. He might be in there. We ain't leaving without him. We have to go back and get him. Okay, we'll go back. But we gotta find a crowbar or something so we can break open that barn door. Okay, let's go. You boys stay here for now and watch the trucks. Waste anyone who gets within a hundred yards. Besides us, of course. Okay, boss. That was a massacre. This is one hell of a night. It looks like they want to get us completely out of the picture. Yeah? Well, that ain't gonna be so easy. Is Sam okay upstairs? Yeah, he's okay. At least he isn't any worse. Okay, I'll get him. You keep watch here. Sam, it's me, Paulie. Come on, we're going home. Oh. Um, we're going to the doctor. How are you feeling so good? He must be coming down with something. Hmm, I guess so. Your nose is running a little. Ah. Sam, I'll put you in the back. Tom will be with you, just in case. Okay. Tom, go with him. Keep an eye out. He's a Thompson if you need it. Got it. Paulie, it looks like we got more company. There's a Thompson and some ammo back there. Get behind those crates and watch out. 
Fire as soon as they get behind us. Make sure they don't get past us. We're here. Tom, get Sam ready. I'll go wake the doc up. Sam, we're at the doctor. God, is that you, Polly? What are you doing here so late? Good evening, doc. I'm sorry, but we had an accident, and we need your help. Okay, where is he? Bring him inside. Okay. That was our doctor. Doesn't ask questions. And Sam's in good company. Are you sure that he isn't just an untrained butcher? Definitely not. He's the best. The best paid doctor in the city. If you get hurt, he'll be thankful that we have him. Okay. I hope he'll do his best for Sam. That's all over. We could have all ended up a lot worse off than Sam did. When I catch that bastard who double crossed us, I'll tear his head off. It looks like someone has had enough of us. It sure does. I don't know about you, but I'm going to get a shadow of something. When the Don finds out what happened, there'll be hell to pay. This means a real war, and it ain't good. It certainly ain't. All right. So good night, Tom. Have a good night. Or at least try to have one. Yesterday was the worst disaster we've had. We lost eight men, the whole shipment. And Sam can't even stand up. This is a war, and we're in a hell of a fix. He's already got the prosecutor on his side. And he's digging up a load of dirt on us. He's also pretty close to the counselor whose boy you knocked off, Tommy. 
So he's got the cops after us. They ain't got nothing on us. That's where you're wrong. Yesterday, Frank handed over all our account books. The prosecutor is having a field day. Damn it. Frank wouldn't be out for blood. But he doesn't seem to mind too much if I go to jail for life. Those account books will give the prosecutor a truckload of evidence for the case against us. But without Frank, it'll be for nothing. We've got to liquidate Frank. You mean hit him? You trying to tell me I've got to knock Frank off? More than 20 years I've known Frank. All I got, I got with him. But Frank broke the Omerta. I don't know why, but he must have his reasons. And we've got our own reasons to rub him out and get those books back. Otherwise, we'll do time. And plenty of it. Whatever you want, boss. If there ain't no other way... There isn't. I figure today's our last chance to do something before they move Frank out of our reach. What do you want me to do? First, find these men and find out where they've got Frank. They're good stoolies. They have connections with the cops and in the courthouse. One of them is sure to know. You already know Big Biff's from Chinatown and little Tony's always loafing on the island near the museum. Then, track down Frank. Whatever you do, don't kill him till he tells you where those books are. Kabish? Got it. Frank's going to have protection. You'll have to knock them off first. Once you know where the books are, kill him. Okay, boss. Whatever you want. Good luck, Tommy. Get a gun from Vincenzo and a car off Ralphie. And remember, if you don't do this right, we're done for. God damn it. What have you done, Frank? You were a brother to me. Sorry, Tom, but I'm really busy right now. What do you got for me today, Ralphie? Hey, hey, hey Tommy, I got a new car. Just a bit better than that, than, than, than that v, 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 V8. Has 80 horsepower. Pretty good little m m m machine. They change the locks a bit, but it ain't no problem when you're in the, 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 the business. That's it. Thanks, Ralphie. I guess you know why I'm here. Right. What can you do? <sighs> Frank knew what would happen. What do you got for me?
A Colt 1911 should be enough, but here's a sawed-off as well. In Sicily, they call it a lupada. When they find someone shot by one of these babies, everyone knows the deal. Unfortunately, this is the perfect situation to use it. It's got a short range, but it covers a lot of real estate. You can't miss. I never thought that I'd meet with Sicilian tradition like this. Greetings from Mr. Salieri, Biff. We need to know where the cops have got Frank. Sorry, Tommy. I don't know nothing about it. Hey, little Tony. He's like this, with the cops. Mr. Salieri needs to know where the cops are holding Consigliere Frank. And Big Biff suggested you might know something. Hey there, Tom. Uh, look, I don't know uh, they, uh, what, where, where, where they've got Frank exactly, but uh, I do know there's a scumbag uh, that's been blurting stuff, uh, something about Frank and the, co and, uh, the cops the other day. Uh, they call him uh, Idiot Joe because he's a complete idiot. He hangs out uh, on a lot under the bridge. Uh, you'll know him. He's completely bald. Great, Tony. I owe you one. Joe, by chance? Got the wrong guy. I'm Pete. Well then, I'm George. Sorry to hear that. Say, ain't you got a twin brother by the name of Joe? My brothers ain't none of your business. Well, I gotta talk to somebody named Joe damn quick. Don't know that fella. I ain't getting through to you. It's pretty damn important. What's important is that uh, you gotta scram. 
Take it easy. I ain't leaving till I find out where Joe is. That's tough, George. Mom used to always say, Joe, don't go talk to strangers or taking their candies. What did I tell you? Joe. Go screw yourself. I want to know where the fuzz has got Salieri's Consigliere Frank. You're my man. What not told you that? I don't know shit. Jeez. Don't try and rile me, Joe. Just remember real quick. Ow! Christ! I told you I don't know anything about it, Buck. Just scram. Damn it! Okay! Okay, already! You win, man! You win! For Christ's sake, stop hitting me! I'll spill the beans! I'm all ears. Frank and those bastards agreed that if he gave the account book, they'd pack him off to Europe. You better move it. He's probably leaving today. They've been holding him in some joint opposite the tennis courts in Old Galley. That's all I can tell you. Now leave me alone, you rat. You've been a big help, Joe. Next time, get to the Please point a bit earlier. Jesus, that was close. They must be worried about Frank if they're driving him around in an armor-plated car. Well, I'll follow them and see where they're headed.
Fuck, help me! Ah! Please Hurry. don't kill me! Don't do it, I have children!
Tom. Frank, the Don sent me. And you know why. I know why. I know. I don't get what happened to you. I thought you were my friend. I'd have never guessed that something like this would happen. Why the hell did you do it? Tom, I couldn't go on this way. Too many people have died lately, and I, I don't have the stomach for it. it. Used to be different with the Don in the old days. Maybe I'm just getting too old. Tom, this is a war and I don't want to fight anymore. I, I got a child and I, I thought I'd finally get some peace. You couldn't have done this some other way? You didn't have to sell us out. They came for me and I had to surrender. They have my wife and daughter, Tom. If I don't give them the books, they'll kill them. Before, we used to solve things like men. You, Paul, or Sam would get them back. But I can't take that risk this time. I don't want to lose them, Tom. I can't live without them. They told me if I did what they wanted, they'd release them and send us to Europe. And we'd start again. Cops? The cops are blackmailing you and want to kill your family? Ever since you and Paulie killed that Billy kid, the cops and Morello have been working hand in hand. The counselor, that kid's father, got where he is thanks to Morello. Morello wanted to get me to talk, and the police would then liquidate the Don. Both sides would then get what they wanted. I'm afraid this situation has changed somewhat. Where are the books, Frank? I haven't got them, Tom. You handed them over already? No. No, Tom. I'll tell you where they are if you get my wife and daughter back. We were supposed to wait here at the airport, so they must be holding them somewhere around here. Come me after if you want. Just make sure they get out of this city alive. Fine. But you'll have to give me those books first, Frank. Sorry, but they're in case you're lying. Send someone here quickly. We hear oh. Oh. Are you Frank's wife? You've come to save us. I am indebted to you. Where is Frank? He's here. Wait here. I'll be right back. Okay, Frank. Come with me. Frank! 
Thank March. Oh, good. Gr- Alice. Thank God you're all right. Darling. Thanks, Tom. They promised they'd give me plane tickets when I gave them the books. Those tickets must be here somewhere. Could you try to find them? Okay, I'll do that, Frank. Wait here for me. I hope you ain't planning no funny business. Here you go, Frank. Thanks, Tom. Let me say goodbye to March and Alice, and then we'll sort out this what? business. What? Frank, you want flying with us? What? I can't. What? Much. Tommy and I have a very serious situation here that we must sort out. Right, Tom? Frank, just tell me where the books are and go with them. What? How would you explain it to the Don? Forget about it. That's my problem. Where are the books? I'll never forget this. Here's the key to a safe box in the First National Bank downtown. The books are there. Take it, Tom. Thanks. And Tom, thanks for everything you've done for us. I'm indebted to you. And tell the Don I'm sorry for the way things had to end. To the Don, you're dead, Frank. If he finds out you're not, then this isn't finished. Now just go. Tommy, I'll never forget how you helped us. God bless you. Goodbye, mister! And, uh, don't forget what I told you in the car that time. In the end, your best friend kills you. Frank told me that in the car. And now, it was me who was meant to kill a friend. Only I didn't do it. Don't do to others what you wouldn't want them to do to you, or however they say it. And I didn't want Polly to knock me off anytime soon. I may have given him a reason to do just that today. I brought it on myself. I just hope he likes me as much as I like Frank.
Luckily, everybody bought that Frank was dead and that I had disposed of his body. So Frank's funeral took place without Frank. The Mafia has a habit of organizing grand funerals for important people, where they forget the unfinished business they have with each other, or with the dead. The deceased are only shown in a good light. It's the principle of every gangster, at least at a funeral. So it happened that not only Salieri and our people made long speeches about their best friend Frank, but even Morello and other gangsters. Morello and Salieri cried on each other's shoulders. It didn't seem like they had been at each other's throats only the day before. Frank would have been spinning in his grave had he actually been dead. I guess everything turned out pretty well, only I had to think up something about Frank's family. Salieri, of course, wanted to help out his best friend's poor widow till the end of her days. I couldn't let him know that they were really resting comfortably in Europe at that moment. Tommy, it seems our problems aren't over. The prosecutor who nearly got Frank against us is digging up more dirt, and I've heard he even has witnesses. It looks like that counselor whose son you shot is sorely craving revenge. The prosecutor is a good friend of his, and if we don't nip it in the bud, they'll make big problems for us. That doesn't sound too good. What's even worse is that guy doesn't trust anyone. He has all the evidence against us in a safe at his villa. Sam and Paulie are taking care of the witnesses right now as we speak. And you've got to get that evidence, Tom. How will we get to it? Well, today we have an excellent opportunity. Mr. Prosecutor has decided to go to the theater, and nobody else will be home. That is, nobody apart from the home security, of course. But his study will be empty. His villa is in the millionaire's quarter. Mr. Prosecutor isn't exactly a poor boy. Thanks, Luigi. Your only concern is how to get in. But there'll be guards around the villa. Once inside, you should be fine. The villa will be empty. The prosecutor's office is on the first floor, and there should be a safe in the wall. For that, you'll have Salvatore with you. That's a guy who manages to open every safe in America. Once you've got all the evidence, leave before the prosecutor arrives back home. Okay, boss. Where can I find this Salvatore? He'll be waiting for you down in Hoboken on the corner next to the stadium. So you can pick him up on the way there. I don't have to tell you how important this job is to us, Tommy. Buona fortuna. I'll do my best, boss. And Tommy. If you happen to bump into the prosecutor, don't kill him, no matter what. It'll just bring us more problems. You can depend on it, boss. That business with Frank has really gotten Don Salieri shaken. He's probably feeling guilty, but I don't think he's got any reason to. He had to do it. It's better to die honorably than to betray the family and live like an outcast. Good evening, Vincenzo. Tonight I'm doing a little burglary, so I need something for a quiet little job. Tommy, a good old bat would do the trick. When you hit someone over the head from behind, they should be out cold for a while. To be on the safe side, take this here Colt 1911 too. I'll keep my fingers crossed, Tommy. Thanks, Vincenzo. What did, do you need?
Evening, Chief. Let's get moving. Great. So where are we going? So, you can open any safe in the country, right? Almost every one, Chief. And how did you learn that trick? My grandpa was in a business. It's inherited. The safes keep getting better, so a fella has to keep up with the times. Some of the safes around these days are pretty tricky. Okay, we're here. Can you open it, Salvatore? I'll try, Chief. There you go, Chief. Be quiet and do exactly what I tell you. Wait here.
Follow me. So show me what you can do, Salvatore. Okay, Chief. Christ. It looks like we better get our fast, Salvatore. Got it, Chief. Piece of cake. Everything's fine, boss. Drop me off at home. I live across the street at the stadium, a little ways from where you picked me up.
Here's where I live. Thanks a lot. Hope it'll be a little cooler next time. Today I almost crapped in my pants. I hope so too. Get some shut eye. Well done, boys. The last job went fine. There's no evidence or witnesses left against us. Thanks to your persuasive methods, they won't even squeak. Thanks, boss. We try to make you happy. <laughs> well, you certainly did. But today we're here for something else. Paulie has a pretty interesting proposal. Well, I met a guy from Kentucky, William Gates. Everyone knows that Kentucky makes the best homebrewed whiskey. Well, anyway, this guy almost threw up when he tried the whiskey which Morello sells here. When he gave me a drink of this stuff, they brew back there, forget about it. I won't drink anything else. So I asked him about it, right? He said it was no problem and that he could deliver me as much as I wanted. You know, I got jazzed thinking about the dough he'd make on it. Well, I ordered a truckload of it. I said to myself, if it catches on here, we can make a bigger deal later. It would certainly be a good replacement for the loss of our Canadian. I like it. Nice one. Me too. So we're gonna pick up some beautiful booze. I'm already looking forward to it. Where are they hiding it? They'll meet us in the big parking garage. We have to be more careful than we were before. You'll get to the place by car with two other boys. They'll be your escort on the way back. You three pick up the truck and take it to our warehouse in Hoboken. The boys are already out in the yard waiting in the car. And bring me back a bottle so I can finally drink something decent. Count on it, boss. Get in. We're going for some medicine. Here, Tom. This might come in useful. Thanks. Wait for us here, boys. We'll be back in a little while. We drive out, follow after us. Then, we'll have a shot at the warehouse. Sure, boss. They're waiting for you already, mister. Hey there, Bill. It's good to see you again. Hey, Polly. These are my partners who are good friends. They like the idea of working together. And they also like first-rate whiskey, which sure certainly is. That it is. The main thing is that Don Salieri likes it too. And since he's financing the whole deal, here's your first payment for the goods. Give Mr. Salieri my regards. I'm always happy to do business with people like him. You should be, Bill. You could hit it big with this. If this small delivery works out for us, 
We'll order a lot more next time. Take cover! What's going on? Jesus, who are they? Fire! Kill the bastards! Come on! How should I know? Okay, okay. Well, we can't hang around here waiting for more than to show up. Let's get the truck and get the hell out of here. Tom, you try. I'll follow behind one of the other cars.
Get in for Christ's sakes. We can't hang around. Sakes. We can't hang around. We can't go without the truck. We did it. So it looks like Morello got in the way of things again, boss. We can't seem to shake off this bad luck. Boys, you won't believe this, but it's completely the other way around. The only one who really had bad luck this time was Morello. What? I found out who our Mr. Gates really was. And? Gates was never really from Kentucky. He was a small-time thief who stole the goods from Morello and wanted to sell them to us. Morello doesn't think that he almost stopped our deal, but that we pinched a truckload of his most expensive whiskey. I bet that bastard's happy now. Unbelievable! Well, that worked out just fine. Let's drink to that. To another success, boys. Salud! The end of Prohibition in 33. You probably weren't too happy, huh? The end of the good old days. Yeah, not too happy, but it wasn't all bad. Eventually, I did get married to Sarah and had a daughter. It was a good time. But life went on in business. We made a huge amount of dough during Prohibition, which we invested into new deals. A lot of them were legitimate. We had regular firms like construction, transport, restaurants. We ran labor unions. And of course, there was gambling, betting, the lotteries. We actually did really well. We just tried to stay out of drugs, even if it wasn't always easy. Come on, business is business, right? You're way off there. The Cosa Nostra ain't no patties a Chinaman. With drugs comes big money and even bigger problems. When someone has a problem with the cops because of drugs, he does the sensible thing. He admits it. If his family catches him, they rub him out. Drugs are taboo. 
So what, there's some kind of grand poobah passing judgment? Something like that. The leading families choose a boss of bosses. They sort out the big problems and set the rules of the game. So, criminals who break the law have their own courts that judge them? <laughs> That's just great. Laws aren't changeless holy words. Every country in the world has their own. It's just somebody with a lot of power applying their own will. It depends on the person whether they'll serve someone else blindly or apply their own will. Why should the Don be restrained? The Mafia prevailed through prohibition with its own laws. A handful of poor, uneducated immigrants from Sicily were stronger than all the laws, courts, and police here in the States. That took some doing. What? With murder? With the suffering they caused? Come on. You think that the Mafia just murders innocent people? The Mafia punishes those who break laws. And the majority of your laws, too. Unfortunately, we can't put anyone in jail or fine them. Everybody who comes and works for us knows what to expect if he breaks the rules. People lie and steal, and there are lots of criminals here who get unbelievable pleasure when they steal from the mob. As well as the mafiosos who get pleasure from cheating the state. And what about all the payoffs, robberies and raids, huh? Hey, the cops ain't no saints, neither. No Don encourages his men to go around harming people. And what other people do on their own isn't our concern. And as for payoffs, most people come to the Don for help and advice on their own. And they'll pay gladly for it. The Don is an esteemed person. But not every Don is like Salieri. That's the truth. There you go. Your system works, but you know why? Because you're a bunch of selfish murderers. And you only care about your own gain. All your efforts are spent ensuring that you live like pigs in shit. That's why you're so successful. You're only looking out for yourselves. We look out after everybody. A few cops have to ensure law and order for all. And that's a much harder job. That's true. But you can easily leave the Don outside your protection. He'll watch his own back. And what about you? What are you sitting here for? <laughs>